Is that what you wanted? Yes. Thursdays, 10.30 to 11.30, McDonald 221. So where are we at? I'd like to just take, take the pulse a bit in the class. I want to find out if you've gotten further in reading that review article about magnetism and your impressions, your big questions, uh, the things that frustrate you, et cetera. One thing, have you tried to solve the 1D Ising model? Do you know what it's about now and where are you with that? And what are we doing with it? And what other things should we be doing? So remember, the course is the opposite of the traditional thing where I simply deliver material that you could be getting in a book, right? So we're trying to find out what you want to do and why you want to do it. The whole experiment is trying to find how to help students realize and learn about themselves enough to know how they're motivated, what motivates them. Like, I refuse to tell them what to do. I refuse to um, assign problems that are due on a certain date and that, are, that have to be solved in this way and using these techniques. So where are we at with these things? Yeah. Uh, I'm continuing reading this. I'm almost done. But um, I find that it's extremely academic and hard to follow for me, especially. And uh, I, sometimes I find myself just reading it and not understanding anything. I'm giving them complex subject matter, complex articles to read. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing very difficult physics problems at them and just saying, try it out. We're used to, in, in university, I mean, things that are written specifically with, you know, kind of teaching in mind. So mm -hmm. I guess it's difficult to transition from, you know. It's a struggle. I constantly have to deal with frustrated students who are taken out of their comfort zone. You know, it's very comfortable for them to be told what to do and to know that they'll have to hand it in next week and they just do what they can. I would like to go over all, like, all the basic interactions like dynamics. Right, right. The first thing is the concept of an exchange interaction. It's described in the books. If someone wants to explain it, that'd be great. But I'll just very, very briefly say, let's say you have two neighboring cations or atoms in a solid. I'm trying to get them to realize that it's up to them to take charge. What that means is, that this fellow is polarizing the conduction electrons out here, and this fellow feels this polarization of the conduction electrons, but he, he, has, he or she has a moment here. Therefore, there's an interaction between this moment and that moment that is mediated through the conduction electrons. That's an indirect exchange. I'm trying to help them break out of the, of the mold, break out of, the, uh, out of uh, just being obedient uh, people who execute the orders and suggestions of others. And I'm trying to get them to th be independent thinkers and have developed their ability to analyze and decide how am I going to do this and develop some confidence in their ability to do that. And it turns out that those problems, which are magnetism problems, are directly related to other problems such as melting, gasification, how your brain works, neural networks, machine learning, decoding codes, all these kinds of things. It's about um, breaking that power relationship between the professor and the student so that we become collaborators and so that we can concentrate on education rather than obedience. Uh, so that's one of the sort of the, one of the ground rules in, in the course and they know that. What would the experiment look like? How long have we known how to do this? How do we measure that? 